life lessons, flies and sugar, and coffee. You ever found dead flies in your coffee cup? Do you know why they're dead? Well, you would say, well, they drowned. Well, you're only partially right. You see, the flies are attracted to the sugar, and they can't stand it. They just want more of that sugar. Same reason you put sugar in your coffee. But when the flies get on the coffee, and they start drinking a little bit off the sides or various places where they throw up on the coffee cup and, and then suck that back up, and they get a little bit of the coffee and the sugar and the caffeine. See, flies don't know it, but caffeine is actually a pesticide. It's used on plants in different places around the world in order to keep bugs off of plants and other things. But because the sugar is so addictive to the fly and he wants it, he sits there and even though something's telling him he's not feeling exactly perfect, he keeps drinking coffee. And then the caffeine starts to take its effect on the fly. He gets woozy, kind of drunk. Nobody's chewing him off. Nobody's running him away. He's having his feel of coffee and caffeine and sugar. Gets woozy from the caffeine because it's a pesticide. And he falls into the coffee and drowns. Like someone who went swimming when they were drinking. Now you know what you're drinking.